Hi, my name is Sue Euler, and I'm one of the founders of Quiet Valley Living Historical Farm in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Um, everywhere you look, there are signs of weaving. I became really interested in weaving over 50 years ago. I, my real goal was to learn to weave for Quiet Valley. I started to take lessons on a very small loom like this, and I took a few lessons. And then I had to learn how to dress, which is warp the loom, and how to weave on it down at Quiet Valley. It's a uh, early 1800s loom, and among the things that people get to see when they visit Quiet Valley, if you look for weaving, you can see that I'm wearing a woven blouse. My jeans are woven, the sheets on your bed are woven, the linen towels, many things are woven. Many of the things you don't think about, though, might be something like a basket. And this is woven from pieces of oak that were actually harvested and split here on the farm. The Baltimore Oriole did me a treat one year and wove me a nest. Actually, it wasn't for me, but I have taken possession of it and just love to see how intricately it is done. If you look down at the farm, there's a woven fence that we have. It's made out of sticks that was woven to keep the animals out of the herb garden. Paper is also a good thing to weave with, and this is something that I wove recently as a little valentine. Mm. The history of weaving goes way back. Samples of linen have been found at the early Neolithic Alpine lake dwellings. The Egyptian tombs have beautiful examples of hand-woven linens. Um, some of those are so fine that modern technology cannot even reproduce them. Our weaving was really spearheaded by a rule passed by Parliament in 1699 that stated that Ireland and the colonies were not allowed to import sheep or fleeces to this country. And further, they were only allowed to buy woven woolens um, from England. And before long, men were traveling from both Great Britain and Germany to come to this country, bringing with them their skills and their ideas about how to build looms. Soon many of these men were professional weavers, weaving the, a lot of the essentials for the home. Women also wove some of the simpler things in the home. At Quiet Valley is a barn frame loom, and on that you can weave a very simple tabby, which is just an over-under kind of weave. You could weave a twill, or with four shafts, you could weave a very interesting geometric design. The limit um, of this was great. You could weave so many different designs. And then in 1801, a man, a Frenchman, by the name of Jacquard, invented what was called the Jacquard loom. And this allowed for weaving a very fancy designs. Jacquard loom worked on a principle of cards with holes in them and it allowed the threads to be picked up where a wire went through the hole or where it didn't go through it wouldn't be picked up. So one of these cards would weave one pick or one weft thread. Um, this is thought to be the forerunner of our modern day computer. Then along came the Industrial Revolution and things were greatly enhanced. The production went way up. And this allowed especially young women an opportunity to work outside of the home. Then in the 1920s, the Union Custom Loom was uh, manufactured. There were thousands of them. These went into homes where um, men and women could weave carpets for their own use, and many times they were woven for sale. 